Time for your sports commentary. I am John Apicello, and today we're going to talk about the Ryder Cup, and I mean all the drama. Drama over who celebrated too much, who was disrespectful, who bothered the other team on the green, arguments in the parking lot, near fights with caddies, confrontations in the hotel lobbies in Rome. Just cut it out. I'm not going to wade into all that. I'm going to dismiss the whole thing and ask you a simple question. Who really cares about the Ryder Cup? Not me. I love golf. I love majors. I love golf competition on all tours. But the Ryder Cup does not work for me. Golf is not, I repeat, not a team sport. And as far as America versus anybody else, I reserve those types of feelings, the nationalism, the pride, for the Olympic Games. I don't buy into this competition. I don't feel like a lot of these guys even like each other on their own teams, let alone the other teams. Maybe small pockets of groups of guys, a couple of guys here or there have their cliques, but otherwise, not really. So if you don't hang out with your teammates, you don't practice with your teammates on a regular basis, and you don't compete as a team during the season ever, then why is the Ryder Cup a thing? Others can love it. I don't. So all the drama for me doesn't ring true, right? It's disrespectful to my team who I don't ever compete with. Just because you're wearing matching shirts, that does not make you a team. So just stop it with all that. Second, I have a question. Is baseball back in America? I mean, the numbers say it is. And the time of, okay, the time of the games have gone way down and attendance has gone way up. Both, in my estimation, are really good things. That said, the new rules aimed at increasing the speed and amount of action on the field did just that. The average time for a nine-inning game in 2023, just under two hours and 40 minutes, the fastest in nearly 40 years, 20 more, four minutes shorter than last year. Total attendance up. More than 70 million for the first time since 2017, up 6 million from 2022. Almost a 10% increase because we've sped up the game. America's pastime may have just reinvented itself, giving a whole new generation a chance to fall in love with the sport. Many of us who are at an older or advancing age grew up romanticizing. It really is a great sport when you get down to it. And I think the fact that baseball has made these changes and reinvented itself for the younger generation is a good thing. But that's just my opinion. I've been wrong before.